Hi everybody. Happy Tuesday. I totally was ready for this before six o'clock. Very proud of myself. And then my sister called me. So thank you, Tanya, for uh, interrupting my flow, but that's okay. We are here. So I'm sorry I missed last week. I tell myself I'm going to put a video up when I have my in-person class, but I just am busy all day just cutting for paper and then don't have time to make the videos. So the thought was there, right? So I'm going to do the class tonight that I was planning on doing last week um, besides me. It is a um, kind of a masculine set, um, something a little different I haven't done in a while. With um, I'm going to use watercolor pencils, so I thought it would be a good opportunity to show you that. Um, today is Tuesday the 28th when I'm filming this. And um, tomorrow we get a sneak peek at the new catalog, the annual. With that, they are going to be doing a color refresh. So we're going to um, get rid of some colors, some inks and paper, but we're getting some new exciting colors and I'm looking really forward to seeing what stays, what goes. Um, we know that one of the colors is Boho Blue, the little machine that came out which we got a heads up today, they're going to sell that by itself. Um, so we'll see if it, uh, how many is left by the time demonstrators order it. Um, they'll release it to customers. But that's the bonus of being a demonstrator is you get sneak peeks to stuff and first opportunity also. So um, I love my little boho guys, he's adorable. And then another color we know is coming back. I believe it's, um, oh my gosh. It's not Tranquil Tide. It was another um, Lagoon, Lagoon something. I It was before me, so I didn't have that color. Um, so that's one that I know um, is coming back. So there are some colors returning that used to be around and brand new ones. So it's going to be very exciting. I have a mess, a uh, reminder on my phone so that I can log in to the demonstrator site and see that. I'm super excited. Um, I hope everybody's had a good week. It's just been, I feel like life is always crazy, but you know, just keeps you on your toes. I'm preparing for a baby shower, um, so I've been baking up a storm, and um, that just really has occupied me this week. But um, one thing that I wanted to make sure to say is my On the Farm class is closing this week. Um, so if you want to take this class and you get to make some fun projects like this little box, um, I have a fancy fold card. So that's going to be in the class. Um, I really don't know if this peekaboo die is staying or going, but I like it. And I have all these little green pieces now from cutting out. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But I love parakeet parties, so I'm glad this is staying around. And then we have another kind of fold card that is going to be. And I thought I had... Um, I revamped a card that I made for a swap. So this is, it was kind of like this in my swap, um, but I changed some stuff around to use. We're going to use this. Um, I thought I had the twine out. Oh my, my, I don't know what I, oh, here it is. This um, really thick twine, but it's got some silver in it and I like to fray the end sometimes. So, you know, like that is kind of cool. And yeah, so that is going to close this week. If you're interested, please send me a message and I'll be glad to um, send you an invoice. It's $32 plus like $9 shipping if I have to ship it to you. I have a couple people here that I just see them in person. So if you're local to the Wichita area, you don't have to pay shipping. I can just meet up with you. So what else? That's really the big excitement. Um, I'm kind of waiting to see what the rest of my schedule is going to be um, for April because I need to see what's staying and what's going. 
um, but uh, I do want to do Let It Ride um, mini class because I bought that um, my son's birthday is next month and I need to make a card. And I already promised my daughter that she could use the one we made in my class. So I want to do a different class with that because he loves his Harley. So, all right. Well, guys, let me turn the camera down and we'll show you tonight's cards. And I can't see where I'm at here. So, hopefully... Sorry, I'm trying to pull my camera down so I can down, see so I can where see I'm at. Um, so my mini class, you if you purchase this week, and I put a link down already, um, you will get this card kit if you make a purchase over $35. I just pulled the PDF out so I can show you. But it comes with all the... Um, inside stuff to make the card not including the stamp of course um so and the pdf will come with it so um, and it's really cute i love this these imageries um even if you have an adult if you're an adult i'm gonna give one of these to my dad so um probably this one so i do think that it works um got a piece of glue on there so let's get started we will start with the pool party and I am using both um, we have two um, kits of watercolors and I just put mine in this box so I have both of them and I honestly the ones I'm using I just put one and two because even though I got little marks on them I couldn't remember which one came from which. So I have a handful right here, and we're going to use this blender pen to smooth it out. So I've already stamped my images, and this is on a large stitch circle. And then um, I have the sentiment is cut out. And then I just took the scissors and cut it at an angle. So you'll get your square, and then that way you can cut it where you want. So I am taking, going to start with the pool party. Or no, yeah, I thought it was, i got to get my colors out here. Nope, I guess it's Bermuda Bay. Bermuda Bay. And do the water. Then I did like the dad's hair in this Cajun craze. And I'm not being overly precise about, you can do some shading. Um, of course, I'm gonna do his pants. And this is Old Olive. And you can, if you put more pressure on your pencil, it'll get darker. So if you feel like, oh, there's a, you know, the bottom of his rump is here is in the, in the shadow. So we could color it a little darker. Um, then I did, this is balmy. Hmm. Thought the, oh no, the other one was Bermuda. So this says balmy. It looks like Pacific Point, to tell you the truth. And all these lines you see, our blender pen is going to smooth them out. So I'm not really worried about... Um, I mean, you can go in little circles to make it what you want, but I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to use this pump. This should be pumpkin pie. Oh, it doesn't have. I know I have a pumpkin pie, but this one doesn't say it on there. I've saved marker uh, pencils. We've gotten pencils before um, in uh, like paper pumpkin. That's where this little one is from. Although I'm pretty sure I have a. Oh, I don't. Hmm. 
Maybe I should not use the yellow one. Maybe I will put with that orange. See, I want, I'm going to do his hat and his shirt orange on this one. Let's see, what color do I want to do? <laughs> There's a garden green. Oh, see, my pencil needs sharpened. I just have a pencil, but like a regular pencil sharpener here, and this is what I use too. Sharpen my. So I'm going a little harder on here just so I can make it a darker. I want to make it darker than his shirt, so. Then I am using this Calypso Coral for the skin. Because when I put the blender pen on it, it um, fades it and I feel like it looks like a skin tone. I think I'm missing a little bit of green on my pants. What have you guys done this week, huh? Anything exciting? I should post a picture of the cookies I made for this baby shower. They're kind of nice. My macarons are uh, just colored macarons. But all right, let's see. We got everything colored. I think we do. So now you do want a piece of scratch paper. No, that's not scratch paper. Um, dum -dum. I think this is this is my scratch paper I used earlier. So I'm gonna because you can just run this off. Um, so let's do our lighter color first. So I'm going to do all these pink areas, kind of peachy pink, whatever. Now we'll do the boy. This is, they've had several of these, um, and then just run it off like that. And then we can do, let's do this blue here. I think that sides. I think I need another pen. I think my pen is drying out. This was an old pen. But, I thought I had... Yep. When you order these, you get them in a three-pack. So, I did order some recently, but I found that one in there. So, let's try... Oh, look. That other one, the, the tip was all... And I'm just using um, regular white paper, but you can use thick and it'd be a little bit better. And I stamped these in Memento because I'm not actually watercoloring like a great big, so. Oh, this is definitely juicy. Ooh, didn't get all of it off there because it's trying to go on my orange.
I'm going to go back over that one because I can still see some of those lines. And I think his hair. All right, back is that one. Okay, so this one you're going to take your pool party, eight and a half by five and a half, and just fold it in half. All right, then we're going to take this four by five and a quarter that has been ran through the basics embossing folder. Um, and I'm using the hashtag one. And I'm going to just take my blue ribbon here. And let's see if I can tie my bow. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? So I just wrap it clear around this one because I want my ribbon to show on both sides. Oh, I think that I got... That's my shorter end. I don't want that. All right. Now, now you can turn this. It's kind of twisted there, but that's okay. I'm just going to untwist it around. Just like that. Now I'm going to take a glue dot and put the knot down so then that way it will stay put. Then I can maneuver my bow a little better and I'm going to put our stamped image on and it's barely going to show. I just wanted a little bit there. Okay. Then I have my circle is missing now. Let me grab my paper. So I'm using the Regency Park paper. I don't know if I can get another two inch going to be close, but I can do it. Get another circle out of there. And then you want to cut it in half. So you'll get the circle like this. Then we're going to just cut it in half. Put some glue down here. And then we're going to tuck it under the top. Put some glue down here and stagger it with that other oval. Okay, so it's like that. Then you'll take some dimensionals. I'm gonna put this like this so it goes across my ovals. Then I can turn that a little bit. I'm trying to use up some uh, extras that I got here. Now I'm going to put that right here on my, over by my circle, I mean my bow, 
because I want some of that to show right there, okay? Then I can take I should put this on there before I put my image, but it still works. You just want lots of tape because it's going to, um, on that embossed part. And then that goes down. And if your bow is not cooperating and going down like you want, you can kind of force it. I'm going to just trim like that. Take another little dot here and tuck it under kind of the top and that will force it down. Then I can take my sentiment, thank you dad, and I want the dad portion to go up here. So my two dimensionals are going to go towards the end and then I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right there because that's where my think dad part is going to adhere. And that's card number one. Card number two, we have the dad and the boy on the bike. And I used the um, basic gray for the tires. And then we have a black, and I used that for the seat. And then this one, I did. I used the Cajun Craze again for the hair. And that um, Calypso Coral. I don't think I'm going to go as dark as I did before. For all the skin tone. Um, I think I used the gray too for the little boy's shoes. Just because I leave some of it white, but I don't want to leave all of it white, right? And then we'll use the darker blue for the pants this time. My stupid Facebook doesn't show me when people come on who it is. That or I'm not looking at the time. I don't know. Let's do the lighter blue this time for Dad's shirt. See, you could do... I forgot the dad's neck and face. Then I think what I'll do is the two greens for the little boy. Oh, look, I forgot his hand. Uh, I stopped at the wrist. Oh, that's orange. I about made his skin tone orange. I guess that's a color, right? And then I can do his top shirt with this old olive green. Oh, I'm going to go ahead. I got this little yellow here. I'm going to do his hat yellow because, you know, he needs to be seen. So... 
All right, let's take our blender pen and get rid of a little bit of that orange there. All right, so that was the lightest first, and I can do this brown, color that off. Um, let's see, let's do, let's actually do the top green because it's lighter. And see, I forgot that little spot, but that green picks it up, so you still have a little bit on your pen. So. Oh, look how that changed color. So I hope you guys can see that. That actually blended that out and made it a little more turquoisey, right? That's that Bermuda. I, I think I put it on there darker than I did the other one, so... And let's see all the tires. Let's... And his shoes. And then we can do the seat last. I think I'll use that seat and pick up just a little bit there. Oh, we forgot to do the dad shoes. Let's do the dad shoes in gray. And then I think I have a brown. This is crushed curry. I'm gonna put that on this dirt here. But I'm not gonna blend this off. I'm gonna leave it with all my lines because I think it gives more texture to the dirt. So, all right, so our picture on this one is going to layer on this um, Knight of Navy, and I, what I do with my directions here, I can tell you the size. Um, the Knight of Navy is, this is a deckled piece, and so the Knight of Navy is two and three eighths by three and a quarter. And that's going to leave just enough little border around it. So then our card for this one is going to be four and a quarter by 11. And then you score it two and three quarters on both sides. Okay. And then our DSP is two and a half by four. And... Even though this Regent Park's kind of a girly, you can see there's lots of flowers, the back side has these nice, um, I wouldn't say masculine, but non, just nice styles that aren't girly. And so I thought it was perfect to use. Then I like to, whenever I have pieces that are gonna hang off, I like to use my tear and tape. So I need to know where my top part's going to be. Because then I can add that. And then place it just like there. Then you have um, this sentiment. And what I did in the piece you get in the kit is already cut and trimmed for you, but I wanted to show you. This is a punch in the mini catalog. I love it. Um, I like to turn it if I've already got it typed out. And then, because I know I just want it on the edge, so then I can see. That way I can cut it there, and then I can trim it 
with my scissors and then I slide the other end in and what happens because it's so short right there I just have to take it and then take my pokey tool here to straighten it out and boom then half the time I have to use it to flick it out of there too now what I want to do because I didn't pay attention on this card so this one it doesn't catch and it won't stay flat okay so what I want to do on this time is I'm going to put my dimensionals and I want to place it so that that can catch just ever so slightly. All right, see there? So you can take it out, but you can tuck it and keep the card flat. Then for this card, I put some, I already made this kit up, so I put some dots and we're just gonna put a couple right there. Then this one, it says you've always been there for me. So I stamped it with, and you still are. This is three and a three quarters by five. And this is gonna go on the inside. So that is, I tweaked it just a little bit so my people are colored just a little bit different there. And then of course, see, it still wants to pop. Maybe I didn't put it down far enough. I'm done fiddling with it guys so I'm trying to make it so you can see it better I hope you guys liked this and um, I will try to send you out um, if they let us to say what the colors are I will definitely let you know um, but if there's, I would get any stamp, any inks that you're wanting, um, cause they're going to go fast. There's already, I saw today the soft succulent blends are gone. So any markers or inkers or anything you need for the, uh, stamps you have, you might want to get them. This is a good week. You can get this card kit for free. I've got the link down below. So thank you guys so very much. And I will see you next week. Bye.